hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add stripe webhooks for wordpress checkout plugin let's begin adding stripe webhooks for the wordpress stripe checkout plugin is an important step to ensure that your site gets updates about events such as successful payments refunds or failed payments now once you are logged into your Stripe account, I want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the developer section. We are going to click on the webhooks, all right, depending on how you set up your Stripe account. Now, here, we are going to create a new endpoint by clicking on this purple button here, all right? Now, for us to be able to get all of the information here, we need to select the version, okay? And select all the events that is um, applicable. Now I'm going to choose the billing for now because it only has one event. I'm going to click on continue. And this is the section where we need to configure the endpoint. All right. The endpoint URL will be coming from your WordPress. So I want you to switch to your WordPress account. Now, once you are logged into your WordPress account, I want you to hover to the plugins section. Click on it. And we need to search for the plugin called WP Stripe Checkout. Okay, this one. I want you to click on it because this integration will give you and allow you to accept payments within the stripe payment gateway with a simple short code you can quickly start accepting payments on a pre-built stripe hosted form all right i want you to click on this um button right here upgrade and activate all right click on this one now once you have checked out and continued to your payment information you would be able to get the stripe webhook url all right and then switch back to your stripes webhook endpoint and i'm going to paste in my stripe webhook url here okay this one and then i'm going to put in a description now for description i'm gonna put in something like this now the uh next thing that we need to do is to click the uh, create destination option at the bottom just wait for it to load and now you have successfully added Stripe webhooks for your WordPress Stripe checkout plugin. If you wanted to send the test events, you might want to click that. All right. You see, if you want to send in the test events with sample data using the CLI, you might want to download the Stripe CLI option here. Right. Now, the next option that we are going to use is from the this workflow is going to be hosted by Zapier, wherein we can simply connect stripe to webhooks by zapier and automate your work by clicking this button right here to connect these apps okay so for the stripe we need to choose a trigger for example it triggers when a subscription is cancelled by a subscriber or due to an end of a billing period or maybe it triggers when a checkout session is completed i'm gonna use the first one and then, of course, you need to sign in to your Stripe account. Now, it says here you need to allow Zapier to access your Stripe account. And, of course, we would be needing the uh, secret API key from Stripe. I'm switching over to my Stripe account. Now, the API key is just beside the home button. And as you can see, I'm going to click this reveal key. Copy that. And switch over to the Zapier. I'm going to paste that in. Click on continue. And just wait for it. Now you have two more options. You can enter code manually or if you want to use the Google Authenticator app. We have a separate video on how to use QR code here in the uh, Zapier. Or I mean in the Stripe if you wanted to check a look. Now after that, all I have to do is go to the webhooks by Zapier. And from here, we need to choose an event. Alright, for example, it creates 
or it fires off a custom request by providing raw details which is very flexible by um, unforgiving you can also put in it fires off a single get request with optional query settings now i'm going to choose the first one all i have to do is click on continue now on the method we need to choose the value i'm gonna uh, choose the get in the url text i'm gonna put in something like t plus data path uh, pass through is gonna be true data is and flatten no the basic um authorization you can put in some text headers is going to be your enter text here click on continue now once you are here you can listen to specific events such as when a customer updates their card details or when an invoice is created now this automation will allow you to tailor your site's behavior based on customer actions if you have a custom integration such as uh, Zapier here, you can set up your own actions when certain Stripe events occur such as sending emails, updating CRM records, or triggering custom workflows. Because essentially, webhooks enable you to track errors such as declined cards or failed payments so you can notify customers and offer solutions before they abandon the checkout process. Stripe provides detailed logs for each event making it easier to troubleshoot any issues and ensure your payment system runs smoothly. Once you've done that, you can test your um, automation to see if it works. If not, you can simply click on retest. There's going to be an option here that says troubleshoot. Because as your business grows, the volume of transaction and the complexity of your payment flows will increase. The uh, Stripe webhooks ensure that your payment infrastructure scales seamlessly with your business. Because, as we all know, Stripe continually rolls out new features and webhooks allows you to integration to stay updated with the changes in their API, ensuring that you always have access to the latest capabilities. Now, by following all of these methods, integrating Stripe with your WordPress provides a robust and automated way to handle payments, refunds, subscriptions, and ensuring smooth operations and enhancing the overall customer experience if you have further questions about adding stripe webhooks for your wordpress plugin and if you encounter any problem just send a feedback in this section and tell your problem when one of the uh one of the customer support staff here will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix if in case you encounter any issue. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.